Thanks for taking a look at zero copy cloning in Snowflake. There are many situations where people need to copy their database to test or experiment with their data to avoid altering their sensitive production database. But copying data can be painful and time consuming because all of the data needs to be physically moved from the production database to the copy database. This is also extremely expensive since both copies of the data need to be paid for. When new data enters production, the data in the copy database is stale and requires an update, repeating the entire process of manually transferring data from one place to another. Because it's so difficult, often new data isn't updated in the copy database. What's more, promoting a successful test or change to production can be equally as hard and manual of a process as creating the copy in the first place. Snowflake takes a different approach, and it enables you to test and experiment much more freely. First of all, you can clone databases in seconds, as many times as you want to. Snowflake doesn't physically copy your data, it continues to reference the original data, and will only store new records when you update or change the data. Because of this, you're only paying to store each unique record once, even if you have 100 database clones. Snowflake zero copy cloning has other benefits. For instance, updating your clone database or promoting changes you made to production are just as easy as cloning again. Let's see this in action. Today, we're going to go through a simple but plausible real life scenario. We just found out that the price column in our production database was inflated by 25% due to an error on load. To fix this, we'll create a clone of the database to give us a safe place to perform the change and test it. Then, we'll alter every row in the column to the correct value. After we test, we'll promote that change back up to the production database. Here we are in Snowflake, and as you can see, this is a fairly standard sales orders database. It's the total price column that was incorrectly loaded with values 25% higher than they actually were. To fix this, the first step is creating a clone of the database to give us a safe place to work and experiment with this data. Now, it only takes a couple of seconds because we aren't actually physically copying the data. That means that we can get right into our modification. This is altering the total price column by 0.8 to bring it back down to the correct value. After copying over the original table, we can take another look at it and make sure it's as expected. Then we'll switch back over to the original database and copy the data from test back up into production. The last step, of course, is to make sure that the table looks as expected. And there it is. Now, in less than two minutes, we've cloned our database without copying, replaced an error in a table, tested the table, brought it back into production, and confirmed that everything's exactly as expected. This is the type of power that zero copy cloning gives you in Snowflake. There's no need to manually copy data and pay for multiple versions in databases. You can test and experiment with your database however you need to, freely referencing a single unified source of data, and then seamlessly move your updates and changes back to production. At the end of the day, you can eliminate an enormous amount of effort and focus on building what you need to in your database.